Hi everybody and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. We're going to get into some Major League Baseball action uh, for next week on Tuesday the uh, 20th. But before we do, I want to invite you to join and you will have access to the VIP club section here. And again, you see all these tools here, plenty of tabs here to help you make your picks. Okay, so... Again, the Major League Baseball season is really getting into the uh, playoff push now. It's getting down to about the final six weeks of the season. And a lot of races have yet to be determined. And uh, plenty of playoff positioning yet to be uh, decided. So we're going to take a look at six of the, or actually five of the games uh, for Tuesday the 20th. So let's take a look. The first one we want to take a look at closer is the Cleveland Guardians and the New York Yankees. Both teams are in the top of their division in the American League Central and the American League East. Uh, Cleveland is burning hot down, winners of five out of their last six, coming off of a loss to uh, Milwaukee, while the Yankees are burning hot, winners of their last three and four out of their last six. If you look at the over-under, you can see the teams are trending in games uh, pretty much over the line. Let's see, eight out of the last 12, but more recently, uh, even three and three over and under. The score prediction is for the Yankees 6 and Cleveland 4. The confidence in the prediction is rather low, though, at only 39%. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator, both teams are up near the top, which is not surprising. Cleveland at 25 and the Yankees at 26 at the moment. Um, in the head-to-head -head matchups, the teams have only met three times this season, and it was very early on, April the 13th, which was a doubleheader, and April the 14th, with the Yankees winning two out of three in Cleveland. Um, the Yankees are 32 and 27 at home, and Cleveland is 34 and 30 on the road. So really, not much of a difference there. Um, if we take a look at the score differential, the Yankees have a plus 121, plus 81 edge in that category. If you take a look at the volatility oscillator, how consistent are the two teams with regard to their favorite underdog status? You will see the Cleveland at plus 16. The Yankees at plus 7. The Yankees were as high as plus 16. And they have really been very inconsistent as far as their, over, uh, their favorite underdog since that point. So in the end, I like this to go Cleveland's way in a game over the line. I like the trend to change. Cleveland on top this time. The next one is Baltimore and the New York Mets. Baltimore is right on the heels of the Yankees in the AL East. They are averaged down at the moment 3-3 three and three over their last six. The Mets are ice cold up, just two and four over their last six. They're only a game behind the, the uh, Braves for second in the NL East. The score prediction has a relatively high scoring contest of 7-5 in favor of Baltimore with confidence in the prediction of about 62%. And if you look at the over-under, you can see the teams have been trending in games on opposite sides of the line, New York mostly over, while Baltimore has been under in two out of the last three. On the power ranks indicator, an upward trend for the Mets here at plus 8, Baltimore at plus 15 at the moment. A score differential is decidedly in favor of Baltimore plus 92 to plus 26. The big thing here is that uh, Baltimore has a better road record than the Mets do even at home. So, you know, everything's pointing towards an, uh, an Orioles win as far as I'm concerned, but I'm going to pass on the over-under bet. Now we got Philadelphia and Atlanta. Here we go. The top two teams in the National League East. Atlanta is eight games back, though. They really need to make a push to have any chance of catching the Phillies, while the Phillies could bury the Braves if they continue, you know, on their burning hot trend as they are right now, winners of their last three after a recent poor stretch. Atlanta right now is averaged down just three and three over their last six games. The over-under, you can see the teams have been trending in games under the line recently. Over the long trend of the last 12, it's uh, 7 over and 5 under. The score prediction is for Philadelphia 6 and Atlanta 2. The confidence in the prediction is pretty low, though, just barely better than the toss of a coin at 52%. On the power ranks indicator, you can see Philadelphia now with their recent winning streak there, all the way back up the top here, plus 29, while the Braves has, have plummeted to uh, plus 2. Philadelphia is... Uh, has the edge in the scoring differential as well by 60 runs plus 100 to plus 60. Uh, the Braves have a slightly better home record than the Phillies do on the road, but the Phillies are a much more stable team. If you look at the volatility officer, you can see the Philadelphia is at plus 25, 
compared to only plus 10 for Atlanta. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchups between the two teams, you can see that in the last three games, which is all in the beginning of July, it was Atlanta winning two out of the three games at home. But I think that that trend is going to uh, go the other way here. It's going to be the Phillies this time coming out on top in a game over the line. Now we have a couple more games we want to look at. You can see it's a full schedule. You can take a look at these at your convenience. Boston and Houston. Boston's coming in average. They're 3-3 three three over the last six. Coming off of a 12-10 win over Baltimore. There was a slug fest for you. Houston burning hot down. Winners of five out of their last six. And they are coming off of a bad loss to Chicago, the worst team in baseball. Um, Houston is given a prediction of winning the game by a 7-5 margin. Confidence in the prediction is very high. It's 78%. But the teams are trending in games on opposite sides of the over-under line. You can see two out of the last three games for Houston under. Whereas Boston, five out of the last six have been over the line. Power ranks, the teams are almost neck and neck here. Boston is at 17, while Houston is at 21. The scoring differential here is a 40-run scoring differential edge for uh, Houston. But the Red Sox, which you have to take note of this, are better on the road than the Astros are at home. That's a big deal. Um, you look at Houston, they swept uh, the Red Sox in their first three meetings, which was just, you know, earlier this month. And they did that on the road. So despite the fact that Boston has a better road record than Houston does at home, Houston has Boston's number. I like Houston to continue their hot play over the Red Sox, but I'm going to pick this game to be under the line. And we're going to have one more game here that we're going to look at. It's going to be all the way at the bottom here. You can take a look at the rest of these as you wish. But it's going to be Seattle and the Dodgers. Seattle's coming in ice cold down, losers of their last four, just two and four over the last six. And the Dodgers average up four and two over their last six. You see the teams are trending in games on opposite sides of the over under line, but the score prediction had the Dodgers putting up a 10 spot, 10 2 over Seattle. Confidence in the prediction is at 61%. I'm not sure I'm going to go with an eight run differential in this, in this game. Um, Seattle. In the, on the power ranks, indicators down at the bottom of plus one, while the Dodgers are at plus 18. The Dodgers have a huge scoring differential edge of plus 103 to plus 22. And there are 16 games over 500 at home versus eight games under 500 for Seattle on the road. Come to think of it, it could be an eight-run margin. All signs are pointing towards the Dodgers. I think this will be a Dodgers win by several runs. Uh, but I'm going to pass on the over-under bet because I don't think it's going to be quite the eight-run margin, which would obviously run up the total. So there you have it. Those are the games from Major League Baseball. Happy betting, and see you again next time.